But we start out with a serious topic. Two fun ladies, but a serious topic. Jay Paul, our director, if we can see our special guest, Gladys Robinson, who's executive director of the Sickle Cell Disease Association, Michelle Wall, a freshman at A&T. Welcome, ladies. Well, thank you. Good to thank have you, you on Try It Today. Us. That's the official Try It Today handshake. <laughs> Anybody ask you? Great. Uh, you know, let me just say off the bat that Michelle, who is, as I said, a freshman in college now, at age four, was the poster child for Sickle Cell Disease Association, right? I was the local poster child. And then 94, um, 95. I was the national person child. I want to come back to you and ask you something about that in just a second. But first, I want to start to Gladys and ask, what is sickle cell disease? Well, Jim, uh, sickle cell disease is a hereditary blood disorder. It is inherited. It's not contagious. And it means that a person must have parents, one with, uh, both with a sickle gene. And it's passed on, and it's a 25% chance that both parents have a sickle gene. The child may have sickle cell disease, like Michelle here. What, what are the, I mean, is it, is it uh, what are the symptoms? Well, uh, it can be very painful. Now, it depends on which form. Uh, there are several forms, SS, SC, et cetera. Some are not as painful, not as much trouble as some. But uh, for a lot of people with SS, it means that they have tremendous pain. What happens, the blood cells sickle. Uh, and then they clump, stop in the blood vet, oh, in, in the uh, joints, etc. Yeah. Cause a lot of pain, can cause strokes, can cause just a lot of problems, organ failures. Now I've always understood, and correct me if I'm wrong, but this this is mainly a disease that, if, or this is a disease that affects mainly people of color. Am I right or wrong? Well, in the United States, you're you're right, and uh, well across the world, people of color. Uh, in the United States, it's more African Americans. Now we have a huge Hispanic population Did that's affected that. with as, uh, the most severe form as well. We have Southeast Asians who are affected with a form called ethalassemia. Right. So uh, it is more people of color, but right. it's not just African Americans. Now I want to go back to uh, to Michelle for a second, and and you were diagnosed at birth on this. How has the disease impacted your life? Um, the disease itself hasn't really impacted the um, form that I have. It's not as severe as others. Like, I don't really have that many crises. I've never had one. Um, but being the um, poster child, I got to travel and meet new people, and it just was a really good experience. And try to that. promote, you know, research and everything else that you yes. can do. And uh, now, what's the prognosis? I mean, you're sitting here, you're what, 18, 19 years 18, old? 18, yes. What's the prognosis? What do doctors say? I mean, do you have to slow down with certain activities? Do you have to take certain medicines? What happens? Um, they, they tell you you have to take certain medicines um, from birth to like a certain age to see how um, well you, you cope with it. But um, they tell you to, to kind of slow down exercise and stuff. But if you're feeling, if you feel fine, then you can go ahead like I'm a That's normal great. teenager. That's great. <laughs> and now how did you get to decide on A&T? Did you get any special scholarship help or anything like that? No. Um, A&T was like a family school, and I just really love everything about it. Uh, that's a, a strong family. Yes. I mean, it's like, it's like Harvard or something. I mean, you go to A&T, you don't want to mess with that. I mean, people say, well, going to A&T, they sit their kids down at age one day old. And they say they're going to. Uh, Gladys, what areas does the association serve? Okay, uh, Jim, before I mention it, I want to mention Michelle, you know, I talked about the forms has SC, which is not as severe, right. but it's a great example of what children, even with any form, can do right. in terms of growing right. up. But we also, since 94, have been doing HIV and AIDS as well, and we do diabetes screening as well now, you. so we've expanded to be more of a holistic health agency, and we serve Forsyth, Guilford, Alamance, Randolph, Rockingham, and Caswell counties. That's great. Now, I think there's a web website or something that there we can is. put up. I'm going to look is. at my notes as Jay Paul puts this up, but there's a website. Tell us about that. The website is www.scdap.org. Okay. All right. And uh, people can log on and find out a lot about our services. And there's a phone number, too. And that is? 274-1507 in Greensboro or 1-800-733-8297. And we're also seeing the uh, logo up there for Dudley Products, who brought us this segment. Absolutely. Uh, great supporters great of sickle supporter. cell disease. Great. Association. Eunice Dudley, our yes. thanks go out to her for doing this. Dudley Q, quality people, quality products, yeah. manifest itself in doing segments that can help the public like this. Our thanks to Eunice and all her folks. And thanks to you girls, and come back and see us sometime. Thank will you. you. Thank you. On a sunny day. Uh, on a better day. That's right. <laughs> we'll see. All